Hello guys, in today's video I am going to demonstrate about a vulnerability called Proxy Oracle. Proxy Oracle actually allows the attacker to recover a user's password in a plain text format. A proxy Oracle consists of two vulnerabilities as you can see on your screen which has uh, 31195 and 31196 31195 is a reflected cross-site scripting However, 31196 is a padding oracle attack and exchange cookies. So let's try to understand what is the difference between the proxy oracle and proxy shell. As you know that cache is the one which is responsible for a user's authentications and all of this stuff. When the front end cache first uh, you know serialize the user's identity to a string and it added the header called x common x token as you can see here uh, which is mentioned here during the research from origin uh, sorry orange and this guy has uh, done a tremendous job in this so what we are going to do we will be identifying the vulnerable server for proxy oracle using the nmap script in this video first we have to understand what is proxy oracle in order to understand the proxy oracle, we need to understand some of the basic concept from a high level overview so that we can understand what is the nmap script is doing. So header is merged in a, in a client HTTP request and send it back to the uh, you know backend. The backend receives and deserialize the headers to see the user's identity. That's the way how the exchange is going to work. And how this uh, they are going to authenticate so the authentication mechanism in uh, outlook usually happens using the fba which is form based authentication and that the ias module actually responsible for proxy mode or proxy model which is responsible for you know transferring the credentials and cookies enter during the proxy login so this is the key part here so the authentications and the cookies enters using the IAS servers into the headers and it is transferred to uh, the backend server, backend server deserialize and look into it. How the cookies are formatted? That's the question. So cookies are formatted in a way uh, that I think everybody should know about because the cookies if you see that these are the data inputs or you can say the processes uh, which happens during when the uh, FBA leverage the five specific type of cookies and these cookies uh, one of them is data one is the TTL one is key IVR and signature each has its own purpose for identifying and doing these things so how we can get all of this information so uh, regarding the vulnerability which is called proxy oracle which is related to cross-site scripting and here is uh, you will get the more information i'm just giving you an overview you can read out and this uh, uh, blog post from the orange but right now the objective is how to identify the proxy oracle vulnerability and, and the exchanges so in order to understand this uh, we have to understand the cross-site scripting. Cross-site scripting uh, is mostly based on you can say that uh, usually happens from uh, the browser based because we have a reflected cross-site scripting, we have stored cross-site scripting and many other DOM base also. So here we have the reflected cross-site scripting and that allows the attackers to Fetch the user's password in plain text format. So that's the key part here. And uh, you might be wondering that uh, if uh, we have uh, the cache servers, then why this vulnerability exists? Because the Microsoft Microsoft allows this vulnerability into the latest exchange, and there is a no input validations or uh, you can say serializations for this. And we will be discussing this more in later videos but right now the key part which we are going to discuss 
is regarding this cross site scripting to steal the client cookies as you can see this is the format which is available here and and the backward slash is used for to escape the JSONs format and they are introducing this cross site scripting payload which is alert document uh, dot domain and this payload is used to validate whether we have this uh, vulnerability exist in our server if it is then how we can identify it. but one of the key challenges because uh, you cannot retrieve more information about the cross-site scripting you have to rely on some other vulnerability we were uh, because uh, you know we have http flag http only flag is enabled you are unable to process the cookies by the javascript what you will do because you need to bypass this so bypassing for this http only flag using the ssrf cookies that is this are uh, different uh, you know different aspects which you can look into the proxy logon but we are discussing here regarding the proxy oracle proxy oracle is more towards uh, the cross site scripting and identifying this cross site scripting vulnerability exists on the exchange server so at this point of time you have at least high level of understanding how this uh, is going to be tested let's jump into the and map script which can help us to identify the same thing i i'm not expecting you have to be a very good programmer in this case i will be going directly to the part where we have to focus as you can see the attack uri if you see this is the same uri which is mentioned here uh, in this blog post they are validating this attack your uh, attack uh, uri and uh, that taking the inputs from it and checking the status if the status is 301 or 302 they are be returning this error history if the status uh, this is the if and else statement if the status is 500 then they are throwing this error uh, which is here if this the string dot body that says that if the body contains these values the backward slices reflect urls alert dot doc, you know document dot domain then it shows the one dot state which is that server is vulnerable for it otherwise it will return that unsuccessful so what is this one which is already defined here if you can see uh, this local one is equal to this is the whole script will be printed out if the vulnerability exists we will be seeing all of these uh, during our uh, assessment or NMAP script. So I'm going to save this script and we'll execute this script and we'll see from there. So I have selected the first target to validate this script. As you can see, I'm test validating over the port number 80 and 443. 80 is filtered, so 80 is not going to work, but uh, this script generally is for 443. You can see this mail or exchange server is uh, vulnerable for it as you can see right now and they are uh, printing the same script which i have showed to you they are printing the same output if you go here see the same output is getting printed this is the same output let's try to uh, because this uh, vulnerability exists in this server let's try to validate some other servers where we can find this vulnerability as well i'm going to copy this and paste it the new server let's see whether this one is also vulnerable because we are using the same script as you can see the exploit in unsuccessful so in unsuccessful case the the, the response did not receive 301, 302, and 500, and those cases, the response uh, it will be printed out unsuccessful. Answer dot body will be printing out in this way. And now let's try to enumerate some other or do the scanning for others. Mm, let's see what will happen in this case. The next one is uh, related to. Okay, this is also vulnerable. As you can see, the script is also showing that this 
server is also vulnerable for uh, proxy oracle attack proxy oracle consists of two vulnerabilities and we are testing the first one which is reflected cross-site scripting let's try one more i'll have a look because we have to validate some of the servers is already patched we were just verifying whether this uh, servers are working properly so this one uh, is uh, webmail.mpls this one is also vulnerable so you can see that there are a lot of uh, vulnerable server exist over the internet the key thing here is to identify all of these servers because most of them are you can say that honeypots we make sure that you are not uh, you know directly exposing your IP to these honeypots so this one is also vulnerable that's that's it in this video because I would like to you know show you that how you can identify proxy or echo vulnerability and uh, which is really helpful in the case when you the attacker try to gain uh, the plain text password using uh, these vulnerability but remember that this is a bug chain together so stealing users cookie just by sending a malicious and a link if the attacker can easily uh, you know gain access to the cookies but accesses only help us to steal the cookies which means all the decryption processes does not require any authentication so user infractions even the user close the browser it will be affecting or padding or a color attack so that's it in this video and uh, for that you know remediation parts microsoft has already released the patches if you can see here it is already released and uh, those are uh, those are still waiting for applying these patches then go ahead and apply these patches uh, it's really helpful to mitigate this vulnerability but remember that uh, we have proxy logon proxy oracle and proxy cell so we have you know made the videos on proxy shell now this video is proxy cell, microsoft exchange uh, that's it in this video we will be seeing you in, i will catch you in the next video take care thanks for watching